All right, Tuesday continues, the smoke continues, the four things that you need to know. Um, it's all about air quality. We have the air quality alert that's gonna go through today. They're gonna rework that and look at it again later on today for tomorrow to see if we'll still need it. Slow improvement in air quality. Uh, we see a little bit this morning and we're gonna have showers possible late tonight and early tomorrow morning. And then cooler weather will settle in. That's gonna be a nice break. Air quality index again, we're in the unhealthy range. Uh, so avoid all outdoor activities. Shorten your time spent outside if you have to be out there. And uh, if you're going to be in the house, spend it in the less smoky room or the least smoky room you have. And again, um, if you have uh, gas forced air but no air conditioning, you can still just turn the fan on. That will then pull your air in the house through the filter and help. Hazy conditions throughout the day. High today is 77. We're going to be in the mid 70s uh, much of the afternoon. The smoke forecast, again, looking for some improvement later on about the time the kids get out of school. We're going to see that overnight and things look to get pretty good, but in the unhealthy for sensitive group, really the best we can hope for. If it's better than that, then that's great. Um, 77 the high today, 74 into Pullman. You're going to see uh, uh, 77 in uh, Colville, Grand Coulee, uh, and 83 into the Tri-Cities today. The planning forecast, plan on cooler weather coming in after uh, we see that shower activity, a little bit of a front, so we're going to have temperatures in the mid-70s Wednesday, Thursday. If we continue to get our air out of the west, we could very well see some cleaner air moving in. We continue to cool 73 on Friday. Look at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, mid-60s with overnight lows down in the low to mid-40s. Not looking too shabby at all there. So it is the air quality that is going to be, uh, again, the thing that we continue to monitor, continue to talk about. We'll have updates on KXOY.com. And, of course, First Alert Weather app is free and available in the App Store. You can get that. And, of course, we continue to update this just for 